This question is from gate 2012, mechanical engineering paper, question number 13. Which one of the following is not a decision taken during aggregate production planning stage? Option A, scheduling of machines. Option B, amount of labor to be committed. Option C, rate at which production should happen. And option D, inventory to be carried forward. Aggregate production planning is an intermediately ranged capacity planning. It is used to balance the supply and demand. Basically, it is used to establish the following things. Number one, the employment levels, which is given in option B. So employment levels are related to amount of labor committed. Second thing that is established by aggregate production planning are the output rates, the rate at which the production is happening. So this is given in option C. While the third one is the inventory levels. So this denotes the amount of resources available that gives us the idea of the inventory. This is given in option D. We can see that all the activities given in option B, C and D are related to aggregate production planning. But the first option that is scheduling of machines is not basically done in aggregate production planning. Because it is an intermediately ranged capacity planning, all these three levels are being checked. But the first one, scheduling of machine, which is a very initial stage thing, is not checked in aggregate production planning. Let's go back and mark the correct option here. So the decision that is not taken during aggregate production planning stage is scheduling of machines while all other three are the decisions taken during aggregate production planning. To learn more about this topic of aggregate production planning, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Lecture 28, Aggregate Production Planning. This is from the course Operations Management. This course is by Dr. Indadeep Singh. He is from Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, IIT Roorkee. I hope this explanation will help you clear your doubt. Thank you. Thank you.